Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video series, we'll learn the basics of mainframes. Let's start with introduction. This is the agenda. What is mainframes? The software environments, the logon procedure, and the basic navigation commands. What is mainframes? Mainframes is a system which is capable of handling and processing very large amount of data. Also, it is a high performance system which supports multiple users. And it is the most secure system. That's the reason organizations like banking, insurance, retail uses mainframes. Now the software environments. We have two software environments. One is TSO and one is ISPF. TSO is time sharing option. It allows multiple users to use operating system at the same time. And then we have ISPF. So it's interactive system productivity facility and it is a software which runs on IBM mainframes. Logon procedure. This part we'll be covering in the hands-on. For logging in to the mainframes, you must have a valid user ID and password. Also, you must have a terminal setup on your machine. Now we'll see basic commands for navigation. In Windows, you use mouse for navigation. If you want to cross a window, you simply press the cross key using mouse. In mainframes, we use only keyboard. So these are the list of keys which we use. First of all, we'll see what is PF show. PF show is a command which is used to display information about function keys. Here, F1 is for help, F2 is for split, F3 is for exit. F3 command will be using most of the time. Suppose if you want to go back to a previous menu, you need to press F3. Then we have F7 and F8. They are similar to scroll options in mouse. F7 is for up, F8 is for down. Then we have F9, that is for swap. Now we'll see all these functions practically. To log on to mainframes, you must have a valid user ID and password. This is the home screen and these are the available options to choose from. First of all, we'll cover the basic commands which are required for navigation. This is the command line. If you want to execute a command, type a command in command line and press enter. To go to utilities, this is third option. Type 3 and press enter. To go back to the previous screen, press function key 3. PF show command is used to display the information about function keys, which comes at the bottom of the screen. To enable this, type PF show on and press enter. So this is the information related to function keys. If you do not want to see this information, type PF show off and press enter. So this information is hidden now. F1 is for help. I'm pressing F1. It will take you to the help screen where you can find information related to functions or utilities of ISPF. I'm going back to the previous screen. F3. F2 is used to split the screen in two parts. I'm pressing F2. It has opened one more home screen. To switch, we'll use F9. From here I pressed F2. I'm pressing F9. We'll discuss more on F9 in a while. Then again F3 is for exit to go back to the previous menu. F7 and F8 they are similar to scroll option in Windows. To page down, press F8 and to page up, press F7. F9 is used to swap between multiple screens. This command is very useful and will be using most of the time while working on mainframes. I will show a demo for this. Don't worry about the options which I am selecting. I will be covering each one of them in detail in coming sessions. I'm opening multiple screens. Go to utilities, type 3, press enter. From here, if I want to open a new screen, type start. Press enter. Start command will take you to the home screen. I'm opening another option. Type M, that is more, enter. 
then db2 v9 15th option enter to go to utility screen again press f9 if you want to go back to db2 screen press f9 again you can open many screens using the start command to come out of them press f3 f10 is for actions and f12 is for cancel we'll discuss more on them in coming videos